Well, what is up guys? It's been quite some time. This is weird for me. I haven't been on camera in quite a long time, it feels like. Oh my. Well, 36 hours ago I was in Africa. I spent last night in Dubai. And uh, here I am. I'm home. It's like midnight. Um, I have a crap load of parts to unbox. Car's paid off now. Um, we got brakes sitting here. We're going to unbox those in a minute. I got all types of other stuff. Turbo blanket, um, NGK silver racing plugs, um, brake line, shifter, shift boot, boost tab, freaking pedal spacer. I got my lightweight battery coming, battery tray. What else? I got all types of stuff. We're going to hop right over there and start unboxing things. I'm going to try and install a couple things tonight because I want to go drive the car. But the car's dead, and I want to put this shifter on and the shift boot, and I want to get that boost tap in there and the WCT pedal spacer. I want to at least get those in. Tomorrow we'll do plugs, turbo blanket, oil change, and a bunch of other random stuff that I have sitting around. Probably Thursday or Friday morning, start on the brakes. I got, well, yeah. Just the front brakes alone should shave like 70 something pounds. I need to get a scale tomorrow. That's why I'm not hopping right on these because I want to get like an accurate weight difference. But I should shave like 70 something pounds. This is a lightweight, big, big brake kit, even though the rotors are slightly smaller than stock. I'm going from single piston to six piston. It's going to be dope. I have, um, what's it called? Carbotech. AX6 pads coming for the front. They're still not here. The lightweight battery is still not here. And the lightweight battery rack is still not here. And then we got to go to Denver to get some other special stuff in the next couple of weeks. But the goal is to have the car under 3,000 pounds. Um, so we're supposed to have a track day this weekend. And of course, because of this virus bullshit that I just walked into, um, canceled autocross. So I don't know when the next one's going to be. I don't know when the next time I'm going to hit the track. Uh, maybe Roswell will pop a venue up soon and we can get down there and really get to testing things, but I haven't, my car is completely dead. So I got to pull my roommate's car in, jump the car, all that jazz, and then hopefully my battery's not shot. Yeah, this is a bunch of stuff. Let's get to unboxing parts. I'm not going to get too close on everything because my address is over stuff and we got all this stuff yeah we got some spacers all types of things um i got these nice blue mats to go over all the mats that are in the car i don't know if they're really going to fit but hopefully they do because they look really dope i almost forget how to use my uh tripod here <laughs> everything's so weird coming back after like four months and just just weird so we're gonna start out with some of the small stuff um this is like the slimmest fastest charger on Amazon I think I saw one of these deals it's really things tiny it's got two ports it's supposed to support quick charge 3.0 so with like my phone it's a, it's a OnePlus 7 Pro it's got the warp charge in it and uh, having the charger in the car when you actually need to charge the car like the USB port is not sufficient so I grabbed one of these it's supposed to have blue LEDs in it too you know I love blue so there's that, and then I said, there's these mats that go over like your little change thing, and like in the drawer there, little pop-up drawer, and you got it for the, like uh, in the doors, where you, I throw my drinks and stuff. So hopefully these fit decent, they, they seem pretty nice. If they are nice enough to really talk about, I'll throw the link down in there, and I'll throw the link for this charger too. But uh, those, that stuff will be going in tonight as well. Oh yeah, we know we had to get some uh, racing line stuff. All right, these racing line bits were actually a Christmas gift. Nice, real nice billet oil cap. Guess that's gonna go right on the car here in a second. Hell yeah! If you guys didn't know, they came out with a uh, a gas cap tube that's billet. Super dope. Look at that, that is so nice. I really like that. 
Wow. And then, uh, of course, I got the oil filter housing, which I don't think I can use right away. I have to look it up. I think I have to get the revised um, plunger. There's like two different ones depending on the car, but uh, I might have to get the, the new version of it so I can install this. This thing is dope. That is beautiful. And I want to get a socket that fits over this as well, so I'm not like destroying this every time I do a filter change, but it even has the O-ring on it. I'm hoping this is the uh, OE size O-ring that comes with filters, but nice. Very, very nice. Let's see, next up here we'll do, this is the Back Forest Industries shift boot, leather, blue stitch. I thought it came with like the bottom surround, so this is going to be fun to deal with. Well, I guess it came with a zip tie and some stuff. You can see the blue stitching here. The steering wheel I'm about to get should have this same blue stitching as well, so it should look real nice. This is quality. <laughs> Smells good too. And then also from BFI, been holding off on getting this for years, literally years. I got the golf ball knob, and this thing is heavy. Like it is heavy, heavy. Very nice. I really, really like this. Look at that. This feels super nice. I actually make it they make a new adapter now too um might have to purchase that i don't actually know i don't see threads i don't think this will work with the new one there should be a coin in here yeah you got a coin and the set screws to go with it this camera whatever there we go coin goes in the middle of the yeah look at that that's dope hell yeah Of course, while we were there with BFI, I got I grabbed some spacers for the rear. I was so tired of the rear looking so sunk in, so we grabbed some 10 mil spacers for the rear. Hopefully they fit. I ordered the, they have the option of OEM style for this lip or aftermarket, and this doesn't look right to me, but we will find out when we go to do brakes. I like seriously forget half the shit I ordered. I don't even know what I got from Euro, Euro tuning. No idea what's in this box. If I don't seem too enthusiastic, it's like I said, 1230 at night. I had a 16 and a half hour flight from Dubai. I ended in Houston, got me some Chick-fil-A, and then got on another flight. It got delayed to get to Amarillo, and then it was a two hour drive home from there. It's been, it's been a day. And then I stayed the night in Dubai and all that. Oh, now I remember what this is. More racing line stuff. Check this out. Damn. Well, looks like they all got discombobulated in the box, but wow. Definitely liking this. This should shave some weight too. I forgot. I forgot all about these. This is one of the first things I ordered. Hell yeah. So once we uh once we gotta do the brakes, all these will be going on. So dope. Hell yeah. Well, as I'm putting them away, how they should be here, as you can see, you know, the Allen should be in the front because you got to tighten it, you know, in. This one is machined backwards. It has the Allen on the small side and nothing on that side. So I can't even put these on if I wanted to. I want to give a shout out to Euro Tuning and uh, see what they can do about this. Kind of sucks, but I'm glad I'm not in a rush to get these on. Damn. Well, open up these three bad boys real quick. I think this one should have spark plugs. Yeah. Got the NGKs. I think it's, um, yeah. Damn, I forgot how bad this camera is at focusing. I got these, is uh, the four, five, four, six, five, four plugs. I got these from FCP. They do a lifetime warranty, so um, I can just send these plugs back and get new ones. They're $120 for a set. They're super expensive, but these are supposed to be like way, way better than the brisks I have, and like it should get rid of any misfires that I'm having. So 
these bad boys will be going in tomorrow. I'll be letting you guys know in about a week or two. Um, get back to data logging. Frank has some updated stuff to put into the tune, so I will definitely be letting you guys know if these are worth it. But for 120 bucks, you pay it once, and uh, we got free spark bugs for life from FCP, and that goes for <clears throat> oil, that goes for anything. They literally warranty everything and anything. Turbos, rotors, pads, whatever, so. Yeah. Next up we have, I'm not even sure. Oh, new boost tap. Boost tap from Precision Raceworks. Uh, two reasons I got this. Uh, number one reason, you see this port here on the side. This fits a five bar, five bar AEM um, sensor for boost. So if you plan on running, you know, anything more than 30 pounds, that's the, the go-to sensor. And uh, also it's blue, I love blue. So here we are, this will be going in tonight as well. And over here we have the pedal spacer from the WTC or WCT? WCT Performance. This raises the gas pedal up that much. It's supposed to help with uh, heel and t heel toe action, which is definitely a big thing for manuals, but there's actually a bunch of guys with DSG cars that run this and say it, it really makes a difference bringing the pedal up uh, even with the with the brake pedal. So this will be going in. It should literally, I believe it's one screw. You lift up the pedal, slip this in, put the screw back in. Should be done. I'll be letting you guys know what I think about this. It's a nice piece though. It's solid. It's got their little logo there. Boom. That's where the screw goes. Nice piece. So here's some brake pads for you. These are my new rear pads. I got the I Sweep, I believe, 2000s. Oh my god, they actually come with like Japanese. There's Japanese newspaper. That's pretty dope. No, nothing real special to see here. They're brake pads. Something to swap out my EVCs for. Um, and they'll be going with the new rotors here, which we're we'll getting to the brake stuff last. But uh, damn, nice. I'm still waiting on my front pads to come in, but. We got these box smells really funny. It smells like fish food. Weird. And of course here we got our O34 box. I believe I know what this is. Should be brake lines. I can't even use the fronts, which I found out with my brake kit, so I'll be giving well, probably gonna be giving a lot of stuff away. Old stuff, stuff that people can use, but to include my stock R front brakes with uh, new lines. So, it's a big box. For, so these are, I believe these should be the front lines. First we got a sticker, some stuff. I don't know why, there's one's in a bag and one would be in a box, so. I got anything else from 034. This has to be the other one. Oh, I forgot about this. See? Shit. Got the 034 lower arm dog bone. Um, and of course, you can't buy it separate from the upper dog bone. And, of course, and it comes with new, new bolts. Um, see, I already have this. So I'll be giving this away too. And I have an APR steel insert that can go right along with this if you have the right version. So, man, I totally forgot about this. This is a nice piece. Very nice piece. I'm loving all the, the billet parts I got. Damn, this thing's nice. Wow. Hell yeah. I'm supposed to be getting... I'm supposed to have four a complete hose kit, though. Someone, someone messed up. I'm sending out a couple emails tonight. Disregard. Uh, I didn't realize the back lines were so short. Um, they were just kind of stuffed in there. So I got everything I need. It comes with new uh, gaskets, bolts, or crush washers, whatever you want to call them. Nice. A whole lot of 034 stuff. Totally forgot I got that dog bone arm. Hell yeah. That's what's up. I love myself. All right. We got the last two boxes here before um, we can do the breaking stuff. 
course, like I said, I got I got more parts on the way. Well, I got the lightweight battery and stuff. I need a little steering wheel still. Okay, this is my big order from Shop Dap. So I got a front uh, wheel speed sensor because I think mine's bad. If you guys remember, not too long before I left, I had a wet, bad wheel bearing, and I believe it messed up the sensor. So I got a new sensor. I got a whole bunch of oil filters. Shout out to Shop Dap. I got all new axle bolts. Shout out to Shop Dap. I've taken mine off a bunch of times. Or more times than I'd like. I never replaced them, so I figured it was, I'll get them done before. Because I was supposed to go to Wookiees in the Woods here in the next couple of weeks, but with the corona, we'll see. I'm supposed to go out to LA, I'm supposed to go to Denver. So with all this driving this year, I wanted to make sure I had those bolts replaced. And that's it for that box. Also, forgot about all of that. This next box is very clear as to what it is because it's all over the box. We got a new turbo bucket. I destroyed the last one when I went to DQT turbo. So, uh, I opted for the springs. Look at the springs or anything like this. No, nope, I don't see any springs. Just safety one. Dang it. Yeah, we'll make it work one way or another. Now you shouldn't really touch this stuff without gloves on, but uh, there you go, PTP turbo blanket. I got the size for the IS-38 because my turbo is based off the IS-38, so. Yeah, I really wish they would have included the springs. Like you gotta attach this on these points around here and uh, so you can safety cable it, which is gonna be a pain in the ass with it with the turbo installed, or they can give you these heavy duty springs that you can just kind of like connect them so maybe I can find some springs locally I really wanted to put this on tomorrow along with the uh, spark plugs so we'll see how that goes and now for the brakes alright now for the main attraction First, that should be in here. Um, if we're going with aftermarket brakes, that don't have a sensor for the um, brake pad. You'll need a brake pad sensor delete. ECS sells them for 20 bucks. You could probably just make your own off of the one that's already on there. I'm pretty sure they just like, I don't even, feels like they just crimp the wires together and put some shrink shield over it, but there's that. You'll need that. rotors here boys damn 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 that looks good holy moly um why does this look way bigger than what it's supposed to <laughs> this is this is the rear the wheel woods come with the fronts let me put this down all right check this out now, i've heard plenty of good things about these rotors from multiple people researched it for weeks finally made up my decision for rears. I couldn't find Willwood rears because I wanted them to match, but uh, here we are. They look dope. Look really dope. Should shave quite a bit. Not really quite a bit, but a couple pounds from the rear. Um, and I hear, uh, so EVC pads allegedly can really mess up rotors or something. Is what I've read in multiple places. So I wasn't gonna throw these i sweep pads on the same rotors as the EVC pads you know what I'm saying so uh, it was just another reason to shave some weight and get some fancy stuff so it's here you get a look at the back side here dope I've never had two piece rotors before so this will be this will be interesting very nice shout out to ECS not a big ECS parts fan I do have their clutch beater block and braided seal clutch line but uh really haven't had much experience with ecs branded parts so we'll see how this goes all right 
Now we are to the cream of the crop. Hopefully these are some little wood stickers. Dope. Nice. Okay. Bear with me here, fellas. There's so many things. This is like an empty box. Um, adapter rotor ring. Okay. Oh, okay. Spindle bracket. This will be very interesting to do. Hopefully this is, oh boy, oh man, that, my friend. Oh God, that's beautiful. Wow. Ooh, we are about to pull that out, hold up. And this box that goes with it. Oh my gosh. Bracketry, more bracketry. Oh, I guess I have to put the rotors together myself. Pads. Probably won't be using these unless my other ones don't come in anytime soon. Which is very possible. Um, lines for the front. Dope. I'm assuming this is like the outer rotor thing. Inner is what I meant. Nice. Very nice. Um, I don't know what all of this is. This is the other. Upside down. Oh, now I see. Boom. And this is going to be a pain to get out of here. Oh boy. Whew. For being hashtag lightweight, these are not, I mean, these are, it's still pretty heavy. Wow. This stuff is some quality, quality. Look at that. It is gorgeous. Absolutely. Lines, pads, all the hardware for the, put the rotor together, bracketry for the calipers. You can see we got some shims in there and stuff. It's going to be a whole process getting these fronts on. Um, I'm excited to get it done, but I'm not excited to do it necessarily. It's a lot of shit. It'll keep me busy. Um, like I said, when I landed, my boss texted me and said, I'm not allowed to go to work for 14 days um, due to SOCOM something or another. I don't know. So I basically have like the next two and a half weeks off. Um, I don't know if I'm even like allowed to really leave my house yet. I don't know. I'm waiting for him to get back to me now, but well, obviously I got a bunch of shit to do here. I need to go apocalypse shopping tomorrow, so that'll be exciting. See how much stuff there isn't in the stores. Um, well, like I said, still got parts coming. I'm trying to get this car to weigh uh, the least amount as possible. The weakest point of the car last season was brakes, so this should take care of all that. Brakes should be never an issue again, especially once I get the proper pads. And with these calipers, it should be super easy to change pads out too. I believe you just take out this and they should just pop right out the top. So we'll see. And I got, um, I forget what brand of fluid I went with. It was StopTech. I went with StopTech fluid. So I got two bottles of that sitting out in the garage to go with this. Um, obviously I'm gonna need a buddy here to help me uh, bleed the brakes and stuff I'm looking at these the rotor stuff they have holes in them for safety wire I don't have enough safety wire here for that so I might have to hit up some people try and get some safety wire because if I can I should right you don't want this stuff backing out on the track so not exactly the biggest fan of safety wire now that we can use safety cable on my aircraft but at least I know how to do it at least I know what I'm doing but uh yeah, so stay tuned. Got a lot of videos coming up. Uh, first up, I'm going to do the shifter, the pedal, and the boost tap tonight. And that'll be Monday's video, I guess. You guys will be seeing this Thursday. Right now it's Wednesday at 1 o'clock in the morning. So I'm going to go knock this stuff out, get the car jumped, go for a little drive. See what that's like. Like I said, I haven't driven the car yet. It's been like four and a half months since I've driven my car. Um, 
the video after that. I don't know, I gotta get a hold of PTP for the springs for the turbo blankets. That, that might be last, but then I'll throw in the plugs and as much as I can tomorrow besides the brakes. And then uh, once I get someone that's dedicated to be here with me for this whole install of the brakes, we'll knock that out. So the next three, four videos should be pretty interesting. And of course, I'll be setting reminders to go back and let you guys know um, how I feel about every one of these parts. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get to it. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. Hopefully this race season isn't ruined due to this stupid virus, but there's nothing I can do about that. At least we can do some street racing. It doesn't really show anything for the parts, but at least it's something to do, right? Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you're new here, please subscribe. Go back, watch some of the other videos. It's a hybrid turbo, MPI, Golf R, manual, making almost 500 wheel on E50, which I'm going to go back, get retuned and all this stuff. We should be making 500 some easily um, in the next month or so. But um, lots of racing installs reviews and now that the car's paid off i'll be getting another car here probably by the end of summer so lots of stuff coming up thanks for watching and i'll catch you on the flip-flop